Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 22nd of 2022. Well, it is titled a double star cluster in Perseus. So what do we see here? Well, this is the double star cluster known as H and Chi Persei, or known by their catalog designations of NGC 8869 to the left and NGC 884 to the right. These are two star clusters and include very young stars. And we can tell that by the coloring. We see lots of blue stars here. And the blue stars mean by their color that they are very hot. As the higher the temperature, the shorter the wavelength that the stars will primarily emit. So a very hot star will look blue and a very cool star will look red. Now these are actually relatively close together only a few hundred light years apart and their ages are also very similar. So likely these formed within the same region of star formation long ago and have since cleared out that from of material that from which they formed. So often when we look at star formation, we see those gas and dust that are present around the stars and where stars are still in the process of formation. Now we're seeing what happens afterwards, where the most massive stars have formed and have cleared out all the gas and dust from which they formed. And we see left behind just two very young star clusters as as visualized in the image today. Now the star clusters will continue to age meaning that will you uh, they'll the hotter stars will go through their lives quickest and will eventually disappear from here. So as an open cluster ages the colors will slowly start to change. However as an open cluster meaning that they are not gravitationally bound together that over tens and hundreds of millions of years they will slowly spread out and dissipate into space. So uh, in millions of years we will no longer see these star clusters as they are today if we were to come back in another few hundred million years they will have simply spread out most of the blue stars will have been will have gone and the fainter stars will have been just spread out among stars in the galaxy so quite likely our our own sun could have been in a cluster like this billions of years ago when it first formed and of course that cluster since dissipated and that's the process of an open star cluster there's not enough material within them for them to remain gravitationally bound together and that differentiates them from the other type of clusters that we've looked at which are the globular clusters and those are massive enough remain bound together forever and can reach ages of many billions of years old. So that was our picture of the day for November 22nd of 2022. It was titled a double star cluster in Perseus. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.